Hello everyone, this is uh, Dr. Raj Singh. I practice in Las Vegas, Nevada. Today uh, we're going to talk about cannabis or marijuana and its effect on our health, especially our hormones. So as you know, more and more states are legalizing uh, cannabis. So no doubt its use has gone up. And while we learn a lot about you know, the beneficial effects of cannabis, these, the negative effects of it are not frequently address so that I'll at least bring up the topic of how it addresses our or affects our hormone levels. So let's begin. So first thing to know about is that THC is tetrahydrocannabinol that's the the chemical or the the compound that gives the user of cannabis or marijuana the natural high or relief from pain or any other effect. So I'll be referring to THC a lot. Now let's dive into how it affects our hormones. So the first issue is with cortisol levels. As you know, cortisol is our stress hormone. Uh, whenever we're under stress, of course, we have a cortisol spike. We, cortisol has some beneficial effects. You know, it gets out of uh, bed in the morning. So when you're using THC, it can raise the levels of cortisol. Now, if someone uses THC very infrequently, you know, every couple of days, they will have a, a big cortisol spike. So what that will do is it can raise your blood pressure and of course can trigger like an anxiety or a little panic type attack because you're, you know, you're getting a big cortisol spike. Now if someone who uses a THC on a regular basis, the, the cortisol response is going to be very, very blunted. So they're going to have a little higher cortisol level, but it's going to be more sustained throughout the day because they're just, there's only so much cortisol that can be produced by adrenal glands, so the spikes kind of diminish in size. The problem with that is that it makes it difficult to you know, get out of bed in the morning. You can have a slow start to your day, let's put it that way. Your uh, ability to function might be reduced because you're not having the actual cortisol spike. So you will need to rely a lot more on stimulants like sugar or coffee to get through your day if you're a chronic user of uh, cannabis. Next, the effects on, uh, on thyroid. So, TSH is thyroid stimulating hormone. It is secreted by our anterior pituitary, which is kind of right here in front of our brain. The TSH will stimulate our thyroid glands, which sit in front of our neck, and they produce T4 and T3. So when the TSC levels, sorry, when the TSH levels are suppressed by cannabis use, you will have less production of the thyroid hormones, the T4 and T3. So what that will do is cause symptoms of hypothyroidism, which will be getting depressed easy, feeling cold all the time, uh, skin looks pale and dry, and all the other symptoms you can expect with the low thyroid, of course, irregular periods also. Then it comes to FSH. FSH is follicle stimulating hormone. So in women, we need this FSH spike to cause development of the ovarian follicle, the release of the egg, of course. So when your FSH levels are suppressed, you're going to have, in women, more irregular periods. The the periods tend to be more heavy, they can hurt a lot more because these cycles become what we call anovulatory, that means no egg is released. So they tend to hurt a lot and especially it's difficult to get pregnant because you can't really time the release of the, the egg from the ovary. Of course in men, uh, we need FSH to have a healthy sperm count. So decreased FSH means there will be decreased production of sperm uh, by the testes, so the sperm counts will, will decrease and of course lead to uh, fertility issues, if that's a concern. The LH levels, which is the luteinizing hormone, also goes down. Now, we need the LH in, for, in men f to produce testosterone. It stimulates the uh, Leydig cells in testes to produce testosterone. So men will have low levels of testosterone because of use of cannabis. So if you want to boost your testosterone levels without a testosterone replacement, maybe time to back off on the use of the cannabis. Or, of course, a low testosterone level will also cause you know, uh, getting fatigue easy, uh, bone loss, uh, less sex drive, decrease in libido, and the overall muscle loss because we need testosterone for all of those things. So that's my take on some of the negative effects of THC. Of course, this is a, just a uh, very brief summary and we don't really hold, know a whole lot about chronic uh, effects of uh, cannabis use because it's not been well studied. But we'll find out more, of course, in the near future. 
I hope you liked the content. If you did, please do like, share with your friends, and do not forget to subscribe. And I will uh, see you back in a couple of days with another topic. And of course, if there is a topic you want me to address, please put that in the comment section, and I'll be happy to discuss in the upcoming videos. Thank you again. Bye-bye.